I've been hired by Friends of the Earth as a nuclear expert witness to take a look at San Onofre. Now, it's not the first time. I looked at them last year on emergency planning, and I, you know they came up short on emergency planning. And now, with the uh, steam generator problems, they've got a, you know another strike against them. So they asked me to take a look at the, why these generators failed, and my conclusion was that uh, um, they were doomed to fail because of the way Edison went about designing them and trying to hide the ball. There's a couple of steam generators that are identical to this coming down the pipe. Uh, there's one down in Waterford in Louisiana, and then all of the AP1000 uh, steam generators are also identical. So the Chinese are building these same steam generators, and so is the um, and, and so are they uh, down in uh, uh, South Carolina. We're expecting the same people that missed this problem for six years to suddenly admit that it was uh, the, that now they completely understand the problem. My impression is these are the same people who opened the doors and let Edison walk right through six years ago. So to expect anything out of them tonight saying that they, these units never should have been built, that's not going to happen. I just can't believe the NRC is going to hold the mirror up and honestly look at themselves that way. I think what we will hear is they'll say, oh, it's a design problem. And Edison will say, oh, it's a design problem. And each will point the fingers at Mitsubishi, the people that made it. And neither of them, Edison or the NRC, will accept responsibility for screwing it up. The person who made the design decisions and who approved the, 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 the vendor was Edison. So in my opinion, you know, they're pointing one finger at Mitsubishi, there's, there's three fingers pointing back at themselves. And uh, it's, um, they've got to take responsibility. I think citizens can do two things. Citizens have to get a hold of their congressional representatives. I mean, Barbara Boxer's done a tremendous job, but she needs to know that the, the people she represents are behind her. Barbara Boxer did an incredible job and has done an incredible job on, on holding the NRC's feet to the fire. So citizens have to keep letting Barbara Boxer know that uh, they appreciate what she's doing. The other piece of that then is that by, by showing up in large numbers, then the press understands that this isn't just a few people or friends of the earth coming in from Washington, D.C., but in fact, it's a serious issue for the people in the state. There's three nuclear reactors that are facing um, issues, not at all the same, where the public is stepping up and saying we've had enough. The, the first one is Vermont Yankee. The second one is Pilgrim, and also on the, on the East Coast, where the public is stepping up and saying, no, you can't do it. And the third one is out here, San Onofre. And so we're beginning to understand that the public doesn't like the way the deck is stacked. Um, so this is um, the beginning of an avalanche, I'd like to think. The nuclear industry will tell you that um, we can have nuclear power, and there's no problem with storing nuclear waste for a quarter of a million years. Well, those same people are saying we can't have solar because we can't understand how to store electricity overnight. That makes no sense. Either we can, if we can store nuclear waste forever, we can certainly figure out a way of storing electricity overnight. And, and the truth is, we can't store nuclear waste forever, and we have no clue how to do it. On top of that, there's lots of ways to store the, um, the, the sunlight overnight. We just got to have the will to put our money there as opposed to put our money into nuclear waste disposal. The nuclear waste problem was created not by nuclear power plants but by the bomb. But by now the nuclear waste from power plants is way more than we've ever produced by the bomb. So the, to hide behind the cloak that um, oh, we have to do it anyway is wrong. We would have to store some bomb waste but the magnitude of the problem is much much worse because it's um, all the nuclear plants we've got running.